It's STEM with COG. In episode 12 on electricity, we talked about using alternative energy sources to transition away from burning fossil fuels. But we never talked about the greenest energy of all. The greenest energy is the energy we don't use. What we need is less waste and more efficiency. Everyone can help, regular people like you and me, but also businesses and industry. This means conserving our resources and our energy in order to lower greenhouse gas emissions that trap heat and affect the climate. Let's start in the kitchen and minimize CO2 emissions by wasting less food. If food waste were a country, it would be the world's third largest greenhouse gas emitter. And wasted food wastes everything that went into making it. The water, the fuels for tractors, trucks, and ships, the electricity to refrigerate it, the packaging. Yikes! Think about all the CO2 from burning those fossil fuels. These high school students at Mount Hebron High School in Maryland decided to do something about food waste. They initiated the effort to get share tables in their cafeteria where uneaten whole food items are left for others to eat. They made posters to educate students about how to reduce food waste. And they set out compost bins in the cafeteria. In the first weeks of the program, they collected 571 pounds of compostable garbage that was turned into soil-enriching compost. In the U.S., about 40% of all our garbage at landfills is food waste. But South Korea collects food waste in special trucks and then turns it into riches. Some is composted. Some food waste is added to livestock feed. And some produces biogas, mostly methane, which they burn instead of fossil fuels to generate electricity. But no ancient carbon from fossil fuels is released. And it's that ancient carbon that's causing climate change. Here are some other ways you can eat more efficiently. Buy only what you need. Make a grocery list and stick to it. Buy fruits and vegetables that have imperfections. They're still tasty and healthy. Learn about the meaning of Best Buy labels. They do not mean expired. Eat fruits and vegetables that are in season to eliminate CO2 emissions from long-haul transportation. Changing food waste behaviors increases efficiency. Changing our diets helps, too. This graph shows greenhouse gas emissions per kilogram of food. Pause the video to analyze this information. How can you make your diet more planet-friendly? Now let's move out of the kitchen and zoom out to look at buildings. That's where 17% of our greenhouse gas emissions come from. Look at this photo taken with a thermal camera. The building on the right is leaking heat. My dad would say they're trying to heat the whole world. This photo made me decide to fix Cog's dog door. You can see that it flaps open in any breeze. We replaced it with a triple flap dog door and put plastic over the leaky window too. Fixing leaks increases efficiency. And better design makes buildings more efficient too. Let's see how passive solar techniques help. Passive solar uses windows, walls, and floors to collect and store the sun's heat in the winter and to reject the sun's heat in the summer. I'm going to try some techniques to keep this box cool on this hot day. I'll need a window to see the thermometer inside. Two layers of plastic will insulate it and keep heat from moving in or out. Insulation like this foam will stop heat from moving through the walls. These bricks will cool the house all morning, slowly absorb heat all day. Bubble wrap will insulate my roof. Outside, I can see that an awning will keep heat out of the house curtains would work too. Shade trees are great, but I want my results to reflect only the materials I used. The second box has only a single pane window to see the thermometer. This graph shows the temperatures the next day. The insulated house stayed cool longer. You can research passive solar techniques and design your own efficient box. But let's not forget easy energy efficiency fixes. Use LED lights. Set your thermostat to 68 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Use less water. It takes lots of energy to pump clean and heat water. We can combat climate change by curbing our energy appetite. Every energy saving action counts because the cheapest energy is also the energy we don't use. 
and that includes industry. We're living in a linear economy, sometimes called cradle to grave. We extract resources from the natural world. Industry makes them into products that we can use and then throw away. But you know what? Waste doesn't exist in nature. Humans invented it. And we need to move to a circular or cradle to cradle economy. That means all of our industries make products and materials that we can take apart to reuse. We can design products that produce no waste. We can make or remanufacture new products using alternative energy sources and recycled or used materials. Those products would be used, fixed, upgraded, or reused. At their end of life, the products would be collected and broken apart or recycled into parts or materials to make new products. Few or no resources would be used. Little waste would be produced. And so the circle goes round again and again and again. This model conserves our resources and energy. So it's a great way to combat climate change. Some businesses have already jumped on board. Japan is working to turn old ships into steel that can be used in construction projects. Compostable clothing and diapers are being manufactured. In IT, we're seeing some cell phones, tablets, and laptops that can be fixed or upgraded. Even old carpets can be recycled. It's a massive task for business and industry to change, but we can help by buying earth-friendly products and fewer wasteful goods. Goods can't be bad, can they? I mean, after all, they're goods. Well, let's find out by joining Cog at the Shop-A-Lot Pet Mall. Uh-oh, Cog. Not the Dog Days Fashion Craze Boutique. You don't really need high-top sneakers. Your paws are lovely. Um, pet pajamas? Well, they hide your cute fuzzy fur. If you really want a unique look, buy secondhand rather than buying into fashion fads that end up in the landfill next season. Oh, next is the Bone Apetrites Cafe. Don't let them give you a styrofoam water bowl or plastic dishes. And while you're at it, eat treats from pest animals like cricket kibble or python jerky. Or go whole hog and try some snout-to-tail biscuits made from all the parts of a hog. Nothing is wasted. And take home some of those delicious leftovers in your reusable doggy bag. Oh, the Gonzo Goods Store. Cog, no, just no. Your pet chicken does not need fist arms. A better gift would be to spend some time with her, teaching her to defend herself. Learning is a gift nobody can take away from you, and no excess CO2 is generated. Oh dear, the Big Bucks box store. They love to sell goods you use only once or rarely. Instead of buying that new surfboard, find your neighborhood Buy Nothing group online. You might have a neighbor willing to share or give away their lightly used surfboard. If we borrow or trade items we rarely use, we produce fewer greenhouse gases because we manufacture fewer goods. What did we learn at the Shop-A-Lot Pet Mall? Well, wear clothes till they wear out or buy secondhand. Cut down on plastics and packaging for your planet healthy goods. Buy what you need, not what you want. And share with your community. Remember, Influencers make money by encouraging you to buy goods you don't need. So learn about media literacy and how advertisers want you to believe you're not good enough without their product. Fight back. Buy less. Because the greenest energy is the energy we don't use. Let's recap. We need to use our resources and energy more efficiently. We can change our food wasting behaviors and our diets. We can make buildings more efficient and curb our energy appetite. We can work towards a circular economy. Make purchases carefully. Less waste and more efficiency combats climate change. But what about all the CO2 already up in the atmosphere? Couldn't we just kind of wring it out of the air? Well, stay tuned for our next COG video on...